In a previous video, I talked about how you can search and watch content more efficiently on YouTube by increasing your playback speed. In this video, we're gonna talk more specifically about a tool that will help you do that. We're gonna walk through how to get it set up and how to use it. Let's dive right in. We're gonna be talking about Video Speed Controller, which is an extension for Google Chrome. And there's several reasons why you should be interested in this in addition to just bumping up the playback speed in the default YouTube player. First of all is that this is an extension for Google Chrome, not a part of YouTube. So by installing this extension, you'll get these features for increased playback speed, as well as a few other things that we'll dive into in all video players that you're watching. So this applies to news websites, Facebook, um, YouTube, or an online course or any other place where you'd be watching a video. And a lot of those cases, these websites may not actually have playback controls built in, so you may be gaining some of these features where they would otherwise not be available. The second reason that this extension is very useful is it allows you to build a consistent experience for video that you're watching. So you'll learn one interface and one set of keyboard commands for this extension that then will apply to any video you're watching across various websites. So it's just one less thing you have to remember. You don't have to learn the shortcuts for every player just for this extension. So the third and most important reason that this extension is useful is it allows you to speed up a video as fast as you'd like it to go. So the YouTube built-in video player only allows you to go up to 2x speed when you're watching a video. This is great for actually consuming content at a fast playback speed, but it limits you from using some of the more advanced cases where you can really scrub through a video fast or some of the extra use cases we're gonna talk about that can really add to your searching and watching efficiency. So this plugin is critical for that, and you're gonna see why in just a little bit. So now that you know why you would want this extension, let's go ahead and get it installed. Check out the link in the description, which will take you directly to the Google Chrome Web Store to be able to install this extension. You can also just search Google for Video Speed Controller, and for me, it was the first link that came up. Installing this extension is very straightforward. All you need to do is click Add to Chrome, then click Add Extension, and you should see the icon for the extension pop up up here in the toolbar. It looks kind of like the YouTube logo with a fast forward symbol in the middle of it. All right, now that we've installed this extension, let's get started in learning how we can use it and what it does for us. So the first thing you'll notice is in the top left of the video player, there's now a little number in a square that tells us that we're at 100% or 1.00 playback speed. If you don't see this little control, you might have to refresh the web page because this, if you had a window open before you installed the extension, you need to refresh so the extension can be added to the page. So once you have this up, you'll see that there's some mouse controls. If you hover over it, you get some additional buttons that allows you to jump forward or backward and also to go up and down in speed using your mouse to click. So I like having this up here as a nice reminder that the speed controls are there in case you forget. You can show and hide this by hitting the V key. We'll turn it on or off. Now the real power comes not from using the mouse, but by using the keyboard to control the speed on your video. So let's go through some of the default keyboard shortcuts that are useful with this control. So we already talked about V to turn the display on and off. The first one you need to learn is the G key. When you hit G, this will go from the 1x speed. I'll start playing this video. It goes from 1x up to the default speed that you have set, which is 1.8, but you can configure this in the settings. Now the next thing you can do is to use D or S to ramp the speed up or down. So tapping D will allow us to go up in speed and tapping S will allow us to go down from whatever, whatever we're currently set at. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna ramp up to a super fast speed and I'm gonna see how long it takes me to get to tip one. So I'm looking for tip one, I'm searching at a fast speed. Oh, there it is, I'm gonna stop. I did that by hitting the space bar. That's just part of the YouTube's built-in player. And now I'm gonna hit R, which jumps me back to normal playback speed. So R is a reset, it jumps you back to where the normal speed is at, and I can hit space bar to continue playing the video at normal speed. So I was able to kind of really scrub through very quickly 
uh, watching and listening to the video to see where I wanted to get to, and then I can jump back down to that normal playback speed. Now, if I overshot a little bit, I can use the Z and the X keys to go forward or backward in time. So I'm gonna tap Z a little bit until I get back to where I think the beginning of tip one was at. So I did it a couple times, yep, there's the beginning of tip one. And now I can go ahead and continue to watch there. So this allows you to really fast forward, find what you're looking for, quickly ramp down to the normal speed and either watch or use the position shortcut keys to go back or forward in time to kind of dial into the content that you're looking for. Um, another nice tip here is that if you were on a super speed like the 7.0 that we were on before and you hit R to ramp down to one, if you don't change any settings in that time range and then you hit R again, that will instantly cause you to ramp back up to where you are at. So I'll go back up to, let's say the seven, type R to go back to one, and then I'm gonna type R again, will jump me back up to the seven. So this is a good way to be scrubbing through fast, hit R because you thought you might see something that you're interested in, listen for a little bit at normal speed, and then hit R again to jump back to the really super fast speed. So you can continue to kind of scrub through and watch the video very quickly. So let's dig into some of the settings for this plugin. Go to the puzzle piece icon and then find a video speed controller on the list. If you'd like the icon for this to stay persistent in your Chrome toolbar, you can click the pin to pin it up here to the top. You can also get to the options by clicking this icon and then going to options or by clicking on the icon in the toolbar and clicking on settings. This brings us to the settings page for this extension, which has a lot of useful information on it. But before I dig into any of that, I wanted to point out a really annoying nuance to this user interface. We'll see in a moment how you can change some of this information and what it means, but you should know before you start doing that, that to be able to save any of this information, it doesn't just save right when you make a change, you have to go all the way down to the bottom here and hit the save button. So I'll mention that again later, just to make sure you don't forget, but it's very important because it's easy to change some stuff, expect to see a setting updated, and then it doesn't work, and that's why. You need to go and click the save button and you'll see option saves popped up. That means you're good to go. So let's talk a little bit about the options for this extension. So I'll just go quickly through each one. Show hide controller will allow you to show or hide the little uh, overlay that happens in the top left of your video players. You can get rid of that by hitting V or hit again to make it go away. You can also decrease or increase the speed with a keyboard shortcut of D or S and the amount that you're going to do that on each key press is represented over here. And that's kind of the general philosophy for this option screen. You have the commands here you have the key book keys that they're bound to here in the middle, which you can change by clicking in a box and then pressing the new key that you'd like it to be bound to. So if you don't like any of these keys, you can make them whatever you want that's most convenient for you. You can also change the default value for what happens when you do a key press. Uh, you, this is editable. So if you don't like point one as the default for increasing or decreasing speed, you can change that here. Maybe I'll go ahead and change this to something like Point two. point two for this one. You can also change the rewind or advance speed, which is what happens when you hit Z or X to go forward or backwards by a set amount of time. So this is the number of seconds that you're gonna jump forward or backwards. Now the default YouTube player that's built in allows you to jump forward by kind of a medium or a small amount. So I would advise maybe tweaking this plugin to allow you to do either a very small increment or a very large increment. So you can either have more fine grained or more chunky control of the player in addition to the keyboard shortcuts that you can use for the built-in YouTube player. So that's kind of a tip there. The other thing is the reset speed. This is the button that you want to go back to 100% speed just to listen at normal speed with the single press of the R button. You can also set a preferred speed. In this case, the default is 1.8. If you're just getting started out using a faster playback speed, I would recommend a lower speed here, so 1.2, 1.4, and then ramping that up as you get used to it. If you're more, a more advanced person who's gotten more comfortable with using this and the 1.8 usually isn't enough and you find yourself bumping it up a little bit, then you can come here to default it to a faster speed by default. A few other settings on this page that we'll go over. You can enable or disable the plugin. 
You can tell it to hide the UI for this that's hovering above the video if you'd like. In this case, you just need to hit V to be able to show it. You can also tell it to remember the playback speed or if you like it on videos, you can also allow this to hook into audio players as well. So you can control uh, the speed of audio. You can also change how transparent the little controller floating thing is. And you can also tell it to disable the extension on a specific website. So if you notice some kind of conflict or some kind of bug on a particular website, you can always come here in here and add it so that it doesn't cause you problems on whatever that particular website is. Or you can come in and also remove a few of these that are in here by default if you would like to be able to use the extension on those sites as well. Now there's an additional feature that I did want to mention, which is the ability to use markers. This is an additional feature you have to enable, and it's kind of hidden through this Add New over here. So go into the Options, come to the shortcut page, and then you can click Add New, and then click it again, and we're gonna add two commands here. So in the dropdown, we're gonna select Set Marker, and then we're also gonna select Jump to Marker. I'm gonna click here to assign a key, I'm gonna give it E for the Set Marker, and W for the Jump to Marker. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go down to the bottom and click save to make sure that it recognizes I've added those commands. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a demo of the marker feature. So let's say I'm watching this YouTube video and while I'm watching it, I come across a quote that I would like to capture, either writing it down or maybe typing it out. So I can stop and I can find the beginning of where I would be doing the quote. I can set E to set my marker at that location. And then I can continue to watch to listen to whatever that quote is at that point in time. So I listen to it. Now, if I hit W, I will instantly jump right back to the place where I would set the marker at. To be able to see that a little bit more clearly, let's make a more dramatic change. So if I forward way back into the end of the video, I can instantly jump back to the place earlier in the video where I had the marker set. You can see this by the changes in the bar at the bottom. One additional way that this has really helped me out is trying to catch up to live streams. So sometimes you may be watching a live stream on YouTube and you join it late. And instead of just joining in and missing out on the beginning of the conversation, this allows you to go back to the start watch it at a two or three X speed until you get caught back up to the live content, then you can ramp back down to a 1.0 speed so that your player's not jumpy trying to play video that isn't quite there yet. So I found that very useful to catch up to something I'm just a little bit late to. The other use case is if you're already watching a live stream but you get interrupted for maybe a phone call or you need to use the bathroom or your kids run into the room or something like that, you can pause the video live and then when you come back, you may have only missed, let's say four minutes of time, you can play at that faster speed. And if you're at a two X or three X speed, you're gonna catch up that four minutes in maybe a minute and you're, then you're right back into the live content. So it's a great way to not miss out on the live experience when you're either late or you had to step away for a minute. So now you should be all set up and ready to go to use the Video Speed Controller Google Chrome extension to really squeeze the last bit of productivity out of your watching experience. If you'd like to see more videos about searching and watching YouTube more efficiently, check out these other videos I've made on this topic. And if you liked today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.